Hello everyone. Now, in today's topic, we will be discussing a very important topic called guarantee to a partner. Okay? In the exam, we generally get a question of this. A simple topic, concept based topic, guarantee of profit to a partner. Sometimes a partner is admitted into the firm with a guarantee of certain minimum amount by way of his share of profits of the firm. Such assurance may be given by all the old partners in a, a certain ratio and by any of the old partners individually to the new partner. Somebody like, like say, I really want someone to be in my uh, firm, to be a partner. So I can just give them, him or her the attraction ki okay, I guarantee that minimum, minimum you will earn this much. If the firm does not earn, then I will give you money, okay, but you come. This guarantee can be given by all the partners or few of the partners, only one of the partners to the new partner. Now, the minimum guaranteed amount shall be paid to such new partner when his share of profit as per the profit sharing ratio is less than the guaranteed amount. Obviously, if he's earning, uh, if he's earning exactly the same or more money than what he has been guaranteed, then there is no point of someone else giving. But guarantee only works when he is getting less than what he was promised. Okay. For example, Madhulika and Rakshita, who are partners in a firm, decide to admit Kanishka into their firm, giving her a guarantee of minimum 25,000 as a share in the firm's profit. The firm earned a profit of rupees 1,20,000. During the year, the agreed profit sharing ratio uh, was 2 is to 3 is to 1. As per this ratio, Madhulika's share came to 40,000, that is 2 upon 2 plus 3 plus 1 of 1 lakh 20, Rakshita 60,000 and Kanishka's 20,000. See, Kanishka only is getting 20,000, whereas she was given a guarantee of how much? 25,000. So, how much shortfall she is having? She is having a shortfall of 5,000. The share of Kanishka works out to be 5,000 short of the guaranteed amount. This shall be borne by the guaranteeing partners Madhulika and Rakshita. Okay. Their profit sh in their profit sharing ratio. So, this 5000, what is the profit sharing ratio between Madhulika and Rakshita? Let's see. See, only between them is 2 is to 3. Between them, the profit sharing ratio is what? 2 is to 3. So, this 5000 will, uh, they will be given in this ratio. So, 5000 multiply by 2 upon 5, 2 plus 3, 5 is 2000. So, 2000 out of 5000 will be given by the first partner uh, who is, uh, what is the name of Madhulika and 3000 will be given by the next partner Rakshita. Okay. Uh, Madhulika's share in the deficiency comes to rupees 2000 and that of Rakshita rupees 3000. The total profit of the firm will be distributed among the partners as follows. Madhulika will get 38,000. How 38? She was getting 40,000. Now she has to give 2000 to the new partner. So 38,000 deficiency. Rakshita will get 57. Earlier she was getting 60,000 but 3000 she has to give to the new partner Kanishka and Kanishka will get 25. Why 25? Earlier she was getting 20,000 then 2000 from first partner Madhulika and 3000 the second partner Rakshita. If only one partner gives the guarantee, say in the above case only Rakshita gives the guarantee, the whole amount of deficiency 5000 will be borne by her only. So, is out of 60,000 minus 5000, the entire 5000 will be given by uh, Rakshita Madhulika will get her 40,000 and she will get her 25,000. Okay, let's see the illustrations. Mohit and Rohan share profits and losses in the ratio 2 is to 1. They admit Rahul as a partner for one fourth share in the profits. One fourth share. Okay, first of all, let's see. Uh, 1 upon 4. So, this is my pizza and the denominator is 4. So, I am dividing in 4 equal, assuming this is 4 equal part. And this one part, okay, one fourth is given to the new partner. So, how much is remaining? 1, 2, 3, 3 fourths is remaining. So, if I see the ratio that the earlier profit sharing ratio was 2 is to 1, 1 fourth in the new firm, 1 fourth is taken by the new partner. So, what is remaining for the old partners? Just 3 upon 4. 
uh, at least 50,000 profit, they have guaranteed the net profit of the firm uh, was 160,000. Prepare PNL account. So, net profit 160,000. Mohit share. How much is Mohit share? We'll see the calculation for first. The new profit sharing ratio after comes to 2 is to 1 is to 1. First of all, we need to know how this 2 is to 1 is to 1 came and that's what I was trying to tell you. Uh, let's see. The This is our firm, the new firm after the admission. One fourth new partner. Then how much is remaining? 1, 2 and 3. 3 upon 4. So let's see. Uh, Mohit, Rohan and Rahul, okay, Rahul has been promised 1 upon 4, that means Mohit and Rohan, how much is remaining for them, Mohit and Rohan, if 1 fourth is given then how much is remaining, 3 upon 4 is remaining, okay, out of 1, out of the entire 1 pizza, 1 part is given, then what is remaining for the others, 3 upon 4, and this 3 upon 4, will be divided amongst them in their old ratio which was 2 is to 1 okay so the 3 upon 4 multiply by 2 is to 1 yani 2 upon 3 and for mohit and the 3 upon 4 multiply by uh, 1 is to 3 so 2 upon 4 is uh, 2 upon 4 it is 1 upon 4 and this is already 1 upon 4 so, 2 plus 1 plus 1, the new ratio is 2 is to 1 is to 1. Okay. This I will be obviously teaching you in the next chapter, but uh, here just understand this like this. Now, we already have the new ratio. Out of 1,60,000, 2 upon 4, that is 80,000 of Mohit, uh, 40,000 of Rohan, and 40,000 of Rahul. Now, he was promised 50,000. Okay, he was promised how much? 50,000. How much is getting? 40,000. So, the deficit is of 10,000. This 10,000, who will give? The 10,000, these two will give. In which ratio? 2 is to 1. Okay, the ratio between these two is 2 is to 1. So, they will give this 10,000 in the ratio. 2 is to 1. So, 6667 and 3333. So, from his share, 6667 will be reduced. From his share, 3333 will be reduced and both uh, comes to 10,000 will be added to his share like that minus minus plus calculation of new profit sharing ratio I already told you uh, he the new partner share is 1 upon 4 the remaining is 3 upon 4 this 3 upon 4 will be divided in the old ratio of 2 is to 1 Then, John and Matthew share profits and losses in the ratio 3 is to 2. They admit Mohanty into the, their firm to one sixth share in profits. John personally guaranteed that Mohanty share, John personally, no one else, okay, Matthew is not giving any guarantee, only John is giving the guarantee to Mohanty uh, that after charging interest on capital at the rate of 10% per annum uh, would not be less than 30,000 a year. So, there is a condition. John personally guaranteed that Monty's share of profit, but the, this profit is after charging interest on capital at the rate of 10% per annum would not be less than 30,000 in any year. The capital provided was as follows 2 lakh 50 of John, 2 lakh of Matthew, and Monty's 1 lakh 50. And the profit was 1 lakh 50,000 before interest on capital. So, before interest on capital, this is our net profit interest on capital at 10%, 250,000 multiplied by 10%, 10,000, 20,000 and 15,000. So, 60,000 is gone. Now, 60,000 is gone. How much is remaining? 90,000 is remaining. This 90,000 will be divided in which ratio? 3 is to 2 is to 1, 3 plus 2 plus 1, uh, 5, 6. So, this 90,000, okay, if I divide for John, 90,000 into 3 upon 6 that comes to 45,000. This 45,000 of Matthew, Matthew is 90,000 multiplied by 2 upon 6 that comes to 
वन अपॉन थ्री थर्टी थाउजेंड ओके मैथ्यू थर्टी थाउजेंड एंड मोहन सी मैथ्यू इज गेटिंग सी थर्टी थाउजेंड एंड मोहन सी नाउ दिस मोहन सी ही इज गेटिंग फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड ओनली हाउ नाइंटी थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन अपॉन सिक्स इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड But he was promised how much? He was promised thirty thousand minimum. Thirty thousand was promised, and this promise was made only by John. So from John, fifteen thousand will be subtracted and will be added, okay, to Mohanty. That's it. Simple. A working note we already did. Mahesh and Dinesh share profits and losses in the ratio two is to one. From January one, two thousand four. They admit Rakesh into their firm, who is to be given a share of one tenth of the profits with a guaranteed minimum profit of twenty-five thousand. Now, who is joining? Rakesh is joining. Okay, Mahesh and Dinesh continue to share profits as before, but they agree to bear any deficiency. Now, see, earlier also their ratio was two is to one. They are saying that now also our new ratio will be same. Okay, but if any deficiency will come, we will not bear in this ratio. We will bear in. Three to two. They specifically given the profits of the firm for the year thirty first December amounted to one lakh twenty. Prepare P and L appropriation. Okay, let's see. First of all, new profit sharing ratio. So one tenth is given to Rakesh. So how much is remaining from one one whole pizza? One upon which has ten slices. Okay, let's say our pizza has ten slices. The denominator is ten. Uh, out of ten slices, one slice is given. Okay, how much many slices? Are remaining nine slices, so nine upon ten will be uh, Mahesh share, and this share they will divide in which ratio? They will divide in two is to one. So how to calculate the new ratio? This nine upon ten will be divided into two upon three, and nine upon ten will be divided into uh, one upon three. Like this, you have to do. So if I solve this, it comes to what? Three one three three. Six, uh, three to the six. Six upon ten is his share, and nine upon thirty is his share. So one upon three, nine upon ten. The new ratio is three is to three is to one, or uh, three upon five. Then six to three is to one. Mahesh share in profit comes to seventy-two thousand. Dinesh share thirty-six thousand. Rakesh share twelve thousand. So. Twenty-five thousand was the guarantee. He is thirteen thousand shortfall. This thirteen thousand will not be borne by the above two partners in two is to one, but will be borne in three is to two, three upon five and two upon five. Let's do this. Do it yourself. Kavita and Lalit are partners sharing profits in the ratio two is to one. Okay, very good. They decide to admit Mohan with a share of guaranteed amount of rupees twenty-five thousand. Both Kavita and Lalita undertake. To meet this liability arising out of guaranteed amount to Mohan in their respective profit sharing ratio, that is two to one. The profit sharing ratio between Kavita and Lalita did not change. The firm earned a profit of rupees seventy six thousand for the year six seven. Show what is the new ratio? What is the distribution of profit? So see, even after adding a new partner, their ratio did not change. Okay. We will do this question now. So, guys, now solve this. Let's solve this question. Here, the total profit was seventy-six thousand. Now, when the total profit was seventy-six thousand, let's assume. Let's see how much is the calculated amount. Now 
now after, this is before admission they were getting this much money now after admission after admission of the new partner who has guaranteed profit is rupees 25000 and this guarantee was given by the old partner who kavita and lalita in the ratio 2 is 2 1 so who will give how much now if we divide kavita will give 25000 multiplied by 2 upon 3 And Lalita will give twenty-five thousand multiplied by one upon three. So, uh, if we solve this, we get sixteen six six seven and eight three three three. So now, the new profits. Mohan, not Rakesh. I think I wrote. Yeah. So earlier, she was getting fifty six six seven, and she was getting twenty five three three three. But this is the amount that they are sacrificing minus sixteen six six seven minus eight three three three. That means how much is remaining for them is thirty four thousand and seventeen thousand. And the difference he will get. That's how this will be. This is how the profits are divided. I'm giving time to copy it down. <laughs> 